Today is Cinco de Mayo, or what I like to refer to as Cinco de Dayo. And this is the day that Kitten Hills, he reached the last life of his nine lives. He kicked the bucket. And I must say, on that day, a couple of years ago, I acted a fool. And it, this person, as a misogynist, as an extreme sexist, as a person who made so who made money enough money to catch up on his child support, as a man who made enough money to catch up on his child support and get himself some snazzy suits to make him appear like an expert, um, I'm glad that his rhetoric is finally dying down. His rhetoric was very harmful to women and I am not upset. And that's putting it mildly that he is gone. His rhetoric gave below mediocre men the audacity to talk to women extra crazy. It gave them the language to talk to us, ask us about our height and weight whilst being shaped like a curvaceous postpartum woman that they would be sh they're shapely. They got these these tetes. They have um they have the gout, the high blood pressure, can barely breathe, <laughs> and then they would have the audacity to ask women their height and weight. They would barely be making forty thousand dollars a year, trying to disparage women in their careers and their education. And he just gave a lot of nerve to mediocre below mediocre me. As I was going through some of my old comments and screenshots, this person basically black Jesus and his commentary was just some that came to mind. We wish you ladies the best. It's a cold world, sis. Winter is coming and the wall is undefeated. I think it's all I think all of this is really good stuff because if the modern women can weed themselves out before we pay for dinner, that's what will save both of us time and money. Here's one, um, here's one you ladies should add. Accountability is like kryptonite. I think it's good stuff. Like these are basically their talking points and he did all of them. The ladies who are like you, you girls are on your own. So good luck out here. The ones who agree and want to cooperate, which was one of your red flag words. Cooperation is a red flag for you women. Um, you've heard all of our talking points and we've heard yours. The conversation is over. They are our black women who there, there are black women who agree with us. Okay, whatever. Um, so this man just kept on talking on my page. Um, he says at the bottom, don't bother sis. I was reposting this. So me and my buddies could laugh about it. Okay. So he, this is what they would do on my pages. They would take my stuff or they would just, um, keep reporting me and they would be talking mucho mess about black women at the same time. But we have heard their talking points. They haven't evolved. This was like two years ago and they're still seeing the exact same talking points. But, but talking about the wall, using the word accountability, talking about winter is coming, all of that, it, even their alabaster red pill brothers are still saying the same thing. They have not gotten any more creativity. They're still railing about feminism, talking about masculine women, talking about modern women, talking about their traditional man, all of that stuff. All of these conversations are still the same, but Kevin Samuels gave them this rhetoric. He, he, he made it concise. So this man using words like market value, talking about us in terms of how valuable we are based on our looks, our ability to have babies is no different than when the slave masters had put women up on the auctioning block to auction off the breeders of the community. That's the reason why this quite supremacist talking points, no matter who is speaking them, were dangerous. White supremacy, no matter who is speaking it, is dangerous. And this the reason why this rhetoric, this manosphere rhetoric has got to die off. All right, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.